Siri, can you tell me when the rape train is arriving today? What kind of place are you looking for? Train stations or sexual abuse treatment centers? A little bit of both, baby. <laughs> rape train. Welcome back once again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and this is the Japanese Bullet Rape Train. That's right, this is Meta War Assault Squad. You know what this is. This is Raptor Pones. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, and most of all, just watching the videos. It's greatly appreciated that you guys take such an interest in me being an idiot. But... It's time to return to being tactical, and uh, this is a reloading point. I am the Japanese versus the Soviet Union, and I forget our homeboy's name. Uh, let's just call him Zack Attack for the time being, and uh, let's see if we can get this uh, Japanese rape train rolling, shall we? All right, so we're going to send some troops to the flanks, as I usually like to do, and uh, you're going to see a pretty typical setup. Again, the, the reason I play these one versus one so often is because, you know, sometimes there's a lot of lag, and um, it's, it's just a little easier to film and organize with people because all I got to okay. do is sit here and talk and it would be nice to do something where I would watch a few other people play but I haven't really made okay. too many uh, friends in the community forever alone so uh, no big deal looks like uh, we've got homeboy here uh, taking a couple of positions looks like he's securing the flag on the right and uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop that toss out some nades looks like we got some riflemen on the other side Let's see what we can do to I think he might have a guy in that building, I'm not sure. But anyway, we're taking the left and right flags now, which is good. Um, and we also have a machine gunner covering that center flag. Uh, we're going to send some guys out then to uh, monitor the uh, telephone pole over here. And doing that is good because you can keep an eye on what the enemy is calling out and cut them off from uh, directly driving across the... Uh, the uh, farm field with any vehicles and or infantry. So now we uh, lost the center to the Soviet Union and uh, I'm, I can't see any enemy troops but I'll get his name I, name in a minute. I think it, I think it is Zack Attack but anyway let's put a Japanese soldier up here and uh, whoa damn grenade blew up in our face. Didn't even see it. Oh that's strange. How did that blow up on the other side of the wall and kill him? Very strange. Well we're bringing troops back then. Uh, what the hell? That should not injure any of our troops, by the way, because it's on the other side of the wall. I guess the grenades are a little glitchy today, uh, given that they were far away and the troops weren't even close. Russians pulling out their, uh, what is it, the PKP? Yes, heavy machine gun. And so they're going to go ahead and secure their, uh, center by basically holding that there. So we're going to have the Hago flank around the rear. And we'll also bring up our recruits to hold this flag and also to harass the center to keep him distracted. Well, distracted. Uh, machine gunner take, took quite a few hits from that heavy gun. So we're going to pull him back just a little bit in hopes that the Russians get a little greedy. And uh, actually we'll pull him back to here. Machine gun still shooting. Actually did finally kill him, but uh, now it's time to eliminate the Russians from having that, uh, that gun. So he's going to fall via one of two ways. I'm either going to rush him with infantry in the front or uh, take him down uh, from the rear. Let's see if we can get get it before that heavy gun turns around. Yo, daddy. Right train, and those troops didn't even throw their grenades. Love it. What the hell? That was the furthest throw of a Molotov cocktail I have ever seen. There was kind of a glitch, though. If you click to throw it and then click somewhere else, it will throw to that higher or to that further position. Too bad we did lose a machine gunner. Russians are now getting desperate by throwing a lot of their uh, infantry into the fray. Let's see if we can get rid of these guys. I don't care if I take out too many. Uh, looks like we've got a uh, commander moving in. All right, we'll keep our Japanese troops moving up then. I'm very upset that I can't just poon these guys. We got barrels in the way. Uh, there we go. And it looks like he's now finally gotten gear with a tank. I think that's a T-26, I believe. So we'll get some AT rifle infantry in our in our box. And uh, we'll go ahead and hide then with our tank. And we'll make sure we can capture it. Looks like he's bringing in from the angle. Oh, I forgot to switch to AP. That's right. Aha. We might get pooned here. But that's okay. 
uh, our, our AT rifleman should be able to take it out. Let's see if you can take him out from here. See if we can knock the track off or something. Rick there we Rick. go. So we'll bring up another group of troops and another $3 Hago tank. And the rest of our infantry that we held from the rear. And it looks like the Russians took this flag over again. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was being captured by us. I did see it being captured, but I thought that was because we lost it or something. So what we'll do is we'll uh, toss a nade over there. I'm sure there's somebody there. And we'll bring our Hago into the center. Can't allow anybody to have that. And again, with re recruits, they're so cheap. You can just toss them into the center of the map with no big deal. Um, it's good to do that because if you, uh, you know, if you bring higher level infantry and there's a trap waiting for you, they're they're basically really good for clearing the way. So what we'll do is uh, we'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, where's Waldo fire, as I call it. And uh, we're just going to see if Waldo's hiding over here. Any behind any of these boxes or behind the fence or... Oh, there's Waldo. You guys see him? He's a dead MF. That's what he's going to be in about two seconds. They're all, uh, also attacking the left flag there, but I'm going to try to kill this. There we are. Kill that guy. So we'll get the infantry up in the up in the position, and then we'll kind of defend there. And uh, I'm c trying to go for a quicker victory now. Now has the T-34 on board. We're at 15 out of 100. Uh, he's... Kind of playing uh, a little, little, being a little bit of a pain in the ass. So what we'll do is uh, we'll come up behind this tank as soon as he stops to fire at our position. And we'll have that other infantry. Haha, -ha, F yo daddy. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, by ladies and gentlemen, I do mean gentlemen, that is why you, uh, whoa. You know what? He's dead. Yep, we'll just put our boys back in hiding. And that is why you put troops on that side. Do not let them power through. Every inch of ground they gain must be a punishment. And yes, we've had several rape trains. I know you've been enjoying them as much as I have, and boy, have they been a bullet train. And I think I just saw a Russian. Yes, we did. All right. Always oh, dead. Oh, I always hate throwing a grenade after they die. It's it's a shame to throw a grenade right after, right after you kill a kill move. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start uh, getting into sne sneaky sniper mode. And uh, there'll be a troop on every rooftop, and a uh, troop behind every box, and behind every every barrel, and uh, that this is just basically what you do to hinder him for the rest of the game. So next, he's going to come forward with uh, some super mega ultra attack, which is going to be him uh, bringing up troops in a tank. I'm sure he's tried, um, has he tried only once with the T-26, and next it was a T-34? Uh, he's, he tried to ad advance quickly, and I, I would advise for that. You definitely want to counterattack quickly. Um, looks like this is the uh, anti-tank troop here. Now, I assume what he'll be doing is saving for KV-1 at this point, and uh, we really don't have any tanks to fight against that. The only thing I can really do is just bog him down with the meat shield of the Japanese infantry, which basically is this. Um, if he's afraid to advance, and I'm actually going to repair this tank because I just noticed I could do that. I'm going to take that T-26 if I can. If you can bog the infantry down in fear of if I bring my tank too far forward, it's going to get picked off by uh, you know, Japanese infantry hiding. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the higher level uh, anti-tank weapon, or well, it's an anti-aircraft uh, gun, but we're going to bring it up anyway, um, just so we can stop any KV attack. We'll only have a few seconds left, and uh, I will be able to see if he pulls out a vehicle or not. He will definitely be ready for this over here, and uh, we're all also going to bring out a machine gun or two, just to see if we can prevent any of that. Um, okay. I do hear infantry. And I don't know if it's ours or not, because, okay? to be honest, I have some running around, and I'm sure he does too. This could basically be a, uh, I think maybe now what he's going to do is uh, maybe a full onslaught. Uh, I do, I am actually a little afraid he might have some troops up here, Hi. right in front of me, which is okay, because we do have our uh, our tank, uh, and this guy, this, this guy right here, this assault leader, squad leader, should get damn every medal the Japanese have. Um, but anyway... End of game stuff. I don't know if he's going to quit or not. 
But what I would do if I were you is just prepare for any... I know this is kind of babysitting on his spawn, but to be honest, he's been sitting for a while with no attack. And he could call out like a KV-1 or something, but now it's kind of too late. He's out of points, so we'll probably end with a bang with whatever attack he comes forward with and or he'll call me a gay or something. Do you gay? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I do have a little treat coming for you guys in just mm, maybe a day or two, maybe in a couple of hours if you're watching this, you know, within a few days of its release. But if not, I urge you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in for more Pwnage. Oh, yes. And let's see if this tank gets taken out. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that could have been a rape train. Rape train.